This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Tenson versus Tenson. Uh, you all have married. You've been together for five years. You have three children between you and ten children total, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, yes. And allegations of cheating are jeopardizing your happy home. Yes, sir. Ms. Tenson, you've opened up this case today against your husband. Tell us why. Well, Your Honor, I am a good woman. We have ten children together, and I just want to get to the bottom of why he's cheating. All right, Mr. Tensa. Yes, what are you here to do? Well, I'm here to prove today that I'm not a cheater. Okay. I don't want to cheat on you. I love you too much to cheat on you. Okay. How could you even bring me here and say that I'm a cheat on you? Well, you. like this. She brought you here and says you cheat. <laughs> and there must be a basis for it. Have you always had these suspicions? What was it like in the beginning? Well, in the beginning, Your Honor, he was very romantic. It seemed like after we got married, um, maybe the tables turned a little bit. But, you know, I work long hours, so when I come home from work, he'll have my bath water ready. Um, he would rub my feet. He surprised me and buy me wigs. Your Honor, <laughs> I love my wigs. He buys you wigs? Yeah, yeah. I buy my wigs. I, yeah. I, I buy a lot of things for Judge Cutler. I'm not sure... I don't think I've ever bought you a, a wig. I don't know that I, I you trust clothes. you with a wig, you Mr. Cutler. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even... You, you're wonderful with the shoes, with the purses, with clothes, yeah. but... Jewelry. Um, Ju oh, jewelry. 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 Jewelry, you're jewelry. very good with jewelry, but I'm jewelry. not sure I would trust you with a wig. But it's just the thought that counts, you know, the little things. What, what did you love about her? What I love about my wife, she sang for me. My wife makes songs, so I know she loves me because they come straight from her heart. Now, see, she sings for him. You don't want me to sing to you because I can't sing. If I sing to you, it will hurt your ears. All right, tell you what. I won't buy you any wigs and you won't sing for me. How's That's that? A, that? Is that a fair trade? Bet. Uh, all right, bet. Okay. How so, do you go from buying wigs to accusing your spouse of cheating? Tell you, Your Honor. Um, first, I was, I was um, pregnant with our ninth child. What? I was... Um, I was having pain, so I went to the hospital. Okay. Uh, they ended up keeping me, and I ended up having a baby. My husband was there, yeah. um, but he was so yeah. adamant about, you know, going home and, you know, dealing with the other kids. So he left, and I get a phone call from one of my friends telling me that um, they just seen my truck pull up to my house, <laughs> and um, another female was with my husband going into my house with a white shirt and some booty shorts on. What you say? So, That's I don't want to get mad true. at the lady, no, you know what I'm saying, no. for telling on, me this. So, I just tell her, okay, I'll call you back. So, I call my husband ten times, Your Honor, I will get through. So, friends probably about the 11th or the 12th uh, time that I called him, he answered uh, the phone to reassure me that, yeah, you know, he wasn't doing anything. Uh, she's lying. She's jealous. Um, she's just hating on me, you know. So, I just hung up because I didn't want my pressure to go, you know, go back roof. up. I'm ready to go home now, right, you know? Right. So, um, they came and checked my vitals. I ended up having to stay another two days. So, every time that my, cut, my husband would call, you know, I wouldn't even, you know, talk to him on the phone or anything like that because I'm trying to get this pressure under control, you know, so I can go home. So, um, whenever you have a baby, you can't just get released, you know. They won't just let you go home by yourself. I have three, so, so I know. I, they notified my husband to come on up there and, yeah. you know, come get us. First, I don't see his face at first. I see his shoes. He got really? on his gaiters in a full suit. <laughs> and he got his haircut. Now, let me tell you about what? the haircut. Now, for the longest he's been talking about cutting his hair, you know, for um, a better him, you know, and to be a, a new improve for his boys and That's to set right. an example, you know? True. So That's when true. he come up there and he all dressed and impressed and his hair cut like that, I know he guilty. So you Look, think... Well, you're in the hospital... Yes. ...having his baby. His baby. He's there for a while, mm. but then he leaves, says he needs to go home and check on the other kid. Right. But then you get a call. Mm -hmm. And somebody says they see him going into your house with a woman in a white shirt and some it's booty shorts. Black shirt. booty shorts. Black booty shorts. All right. Mr. Very specific. Very specific. Yes. Mr. Tenson. Wow. Who was the woman in the white shirt and the black booty shorts? Exaggeration. Okay, did a lady come to the house? A lady came to the house. What did she come to the house for? To do my daughter hair. She didn't come to do you. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> 
Oh, ridiculous. But you believe something else went down. Yes, I do. Why do you believe that? Because, Your Honor, let me tell you about another time. Um, when we were, okay, I was at work one day and I called my husband on my lunch break and my husband told me that he got his taxes. So I'm all excited and happy because, you know, my man got his money, his taxes, and I How much did he get? My mind of what I'm gonna spend and, you know, what I'm gonna do when you, I'm You already spent the money. Right! So you, so wait, you, wait, wait, you got... how, how much did he get? $4,000. Four thousand dollars. Yes. So you were for real getting ready right. to shop. Okay, all right. Yes. So you, I didn't know if it was four dollars, four hundred dollars, but four thousand dollars. So okay. you've already spent his money. Wait, let me. That's let me, what we do. Hold that's on, don't act funny. So, I thought you were the only one who did that. No. Yeah. It's in our DNA to do that. As soon as, as, soon as your man gets some money, you're already spending it. Oh, well, I'm a, no, no, I'm helping you invest in a wise way. <laughs> Is that what you call it? Oh, that's oh, what I call it. Wow. I get a call. I'm on my way home from work, mm. uh, from the school, saying the kids never even got picked up. So I just, you know, no problem. I just go get the kids. All this time goes by, and still no husband. I didn't see him again until Friday, 12:30 p.m. Uh -uh. So I'm so saying, what happened? Time. So what? Oh, check out, time. check out, time. Yeah. all right. What, well, what happened when you did see him? He had this bogus excuse that he was in a room with these two girls. Remind you, why are you even in a room with two girls? No, no, that ain't what happened. Mr. Tinto, hold on, Mr. Tinto, hold on, we don't, we, on, that ain't what happened. We're gonna, we gonna give you a chance. We we'll wanna hear her side. So they supposedly robbed him. Two girls, they robbed him. Robbed him of what? All the money. He ain't have no money. $4,000? Right. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Why were you in a hotel room? Okay, okay. I got my taxes in. I went and got us in. Oh, sweet. Oh, nice. You got us. Who's us? Me and my wife. Okay. I want to do something special for her. You were going to do it up? I was going to do it up. Okay, so what happened? So my wife had like four more hours to get out of work, right? Right. So I called my homeboy. I went, I, I went and picked him up. I went to show him the room what I'm doing for my wife. He got people knocking on the door. I mean, I ain't, ain't going to embarrass So what like happened to the money? What happened to the money? We got there. We got there. We got there. We got there. Well, we got the party. You got the party we with your whole boy. Well, hold on, wait. Because I woke up the and next the day. One in, the hold on, hold on. Hold on. Mr. Dinner. Dinner. You said we got the party. So that's you, your homeboy, and whoever knocked on the door, right? And whoever knocked on the door, they were female, weren't they? They were females. See, I told you. Inmate. I knew it. I knew it. Females and males. Yeah. They were They were females and males. And the next thing you know. I went to go the next morning with my pants on the hood, no cell phone, no money. So you know what I do? I go home. But wait, wait, wait. What happened to the money? I don't know what happened to the money. I got some things here y'all might want to see, some evidence. Rob, would you get that evidence, please? Yes, this right here prove that we got females all over the world. Oh, hold on, hold on. Give me the... Yeah, just... <laughs> all over the country. Uh-huh. Robbing males in hotel room. You got proof of that. I got proof of that. I did research. Mr. Tenson, these... These are newspaper articles. Exotic dance... Wait a minute, what's that say? Exotic, Exotic dancers, dancers rob, rob old man in right. his hotel, hotel suite. Right. Okay. Okay. Look at this. Next one, men rob while they slept by two women in Manhattan Hotel. Anything Come on. Okay, so you, you did this research to show what? To show that I got robbed. Because this is happening all over the country. It's an epidemic. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Tell me this is all you have. No, your honor. What else you got? More. Okay. Um, my husband always saying, you know, I never give him any time to himself to be with the boys, you know? So this particular time, boom, I tell him, go, go hang out with your boys. Go, mm -hmm. you know, have exactly. you some you time, you know? A Three o'clock does. A.M. comes. My husband's still not home. Let me show you what I had to do at <clears> 3 o'clock <throat> in the morning, your honor. Okay. You have an exhibit, so what? go ahead and show us. What? At 3 o'clock in the morning, I was calling the taxi cab. This is where we at at home. Okay. We go to the first <laughs> motel. Okay. No car. No car. Okay. No husband. We get in the... I get back in the taxi. I go to the second motel. No car. No husband. All right, then where you go? Get back in the taxi cab. We go to the third motel. How many motels did you end up going Hold to? Hold on, let me get to that. No car. Yeah, slow your roll. No husband. Four. Your Honor, we went to seven more motels. I 
I get to the 10th motel. No. And that's where I see my truck at, that motel. It took me 10 tries to get to this. That's your truck? That's my truck. Park at the hotel. the hotel. In front of the hotel. What did you do when you saw your well, truck? Well, it was this lady hotel. that kept on peeping out of the room, right? So I'm thinking, you know, she must got something to do with it. She keep on looking, you know, at, at me and peeping at the car. So I go and kick the door in and look up under the bed and look all in the bathroom. You kicked in the door yeah, in the hotel and, room? And I put myself in danger because this lady could have did anything to me inside of her room. Come to find out, she didn't even have anything to do with it. She didn't even know who Larry was. I'm not a cheater. So, so she finally telling me I need to just get out of her room. So I'm, I'm thinking now, I'm, I'm looking like the crazy one. So I'm gonna go ahead and get out of this lady's room. Soon I step out the room, look who coming around the corner. There's Larry coming around the corner. <laughs> okay. So I just told him, just give me my keys and I made him walk home. I got in the truck and I left him at that hotel. All right, step back to the podium. Mr. Tenson, when your husband tells you that he's gonna hang out with the boys, and then at three o'clock in the morning he's still not home, and then she finds you at a hotel, that's not paranoia. That's actual facts. Thank you, you honor. <laughs> what? Who? Who were you at the yeah. hotel with? I was at the hotel room with one of my partners. One of your partners? One of my partners. See, well, one of your a partners, female partners? Female? It never just, it never stops. It was a male. Come on. Now, you gave me permission. Why can't you go to a, to your a house club, and hang out? Sports Why can't bar, you go to the club, club a strip a club? Or, I don't a go strip nowhere. Club. Why are you suggesting a strip club? A strip club, hotel, which would you prefer? Neither. That's, <laughs> that, I'm just saying. I'm not picking either one of them. Don't suggest a strip club. I think we've heard enough evidence. I do, too. Because this is what it looks like. While your wife is pregnant having your child, you then go home where you're spotted with a woman wearing booty shorts going into your house while your wife is in the hospital. The tax refund that you lost because this band of women somewhere, you know, lured you to a hotel room and took your money, and all of this because you think he's cheating. Yes. And if you do find out he's cheating... What's gonna happen? Where does this relationship go? I want a divorce. You will end your marriage. Yes. Do you understand that? This is me. I understand that. All right. This court has done a full and complete investigation to determine, is he cheating? <laughs> At this time, the court would like to hear from private investigator Eric Eccles. Ron, please escort Mr. Eccles into the courtroom. Yes, Your Honor. Good day, Mr. Eccles. How are you? Good afternoon, Your Honor. It's good to see you. Good. Tell us what your team did to investigate this case. In this particular case, my role was to pose as a litigant coming to court as if I was a person who was also cheating. My goal was to get Mr. Tenson to feel comfortable enough to talk to me to see if he also was cheating. Were you able to get any information out of him during your investigation? Yes, Your Honor, I was. Um, it took him a minute, but eventually he started talking. What he said to me was actually very interesting, and I brought the tape. She said, I had sex at the house. Now, I ain't never had sex at the house. So you had sex in the house? Right, she okay. think I had sex at the house. So if you, the girl would. Okay. So he confessed? Yes, Your Honor, he did. So it wasn't sex at the house, it was sex at the hotel. Went at the house. So you had sex with somebody else, it just wasn't at the house. It was at the hotel. Sorry. I told you he was a cheater. What you mean well, you're sorry? You sorry for what? I'm sorry for making bad what you decisions. Sorry for that you got caught. I'm not sorry for being caught. I'm sorry for being a cheater. You know, but you came in here and said, "I'm gonna prove I'm not cheating," and then you sit down with part of our team, get to talking, no, no. and drop the bomb that you are in fact a cheater. 
And even as you're apologizing to her, it fat sounds fake. All I see is, oh, shoot, you caught me. No. Ms. Tessa, and I you know, see hey. tears in her eyes. Hey. Why are there tears in your eyes? Because oh, this is a repeated thing, and you can't feel my pain. So it's just like nothing to you. It's like, you do it again. I mean it, I'm sorry. I mean, I, I can't do them and say I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. But what is more you can do? You can do more. What do you want him to do? I do whatever you want me to do. What you want me to do? Want you to my stop. family mean more. How? You mean more. How, man? How? Yeah, I just made bad decisions. You all have been together for five years. You have three kids together. And Mr. Wright, I understand that you are a rapper. But depending on what happens today, this relationship might get wrapped up. <laughs> Is that right, Ms. Pipes? Yes, it's going to be a wrap, just like his raps, yes. All right. So you've brought this case today. Tell us why. Um, I brought him here today uh, because I have an intuition, and I've had plenty of proof that he's cheating, but he's always said no. Uh, so I'm here for accurate answers, okay. basically. So You're trying to get know to the what truth. what I want to do. And uh, I just expect in the ring. We've lived together for five years. Ever since I've met him, we have three children. I want more. So I want to know... This will let me know where I'm finna go from now. All right. Well, Mr. Wright, sounds like she wants to know if you are Mr. Wright. <laughs> OK. So she's putting all this time in this relationship, and she's waiting, waiting, waiting. And on top of all that, she thinks you're cheating on her. What do you have to say about that? No, it's like... Uh, it ain't doing no cheating or nothing. I do a lot of rap videos. I be around, like, the music industry. So, like, females be around, though. And, I mean, it ain't nothing like this. She ain't never caught me red. I have caught shit. She has, yeah, she's like, said, caught yes, me. Yes, yes, like, so, All right, so, you're saying she's couple never couple caught you red-handed. I can no. see a couple of things. All right, tell me what you've seen. Exhibit A. Uh, I'm on his Facebook, right? Uh -huh. um, you know how you can see, like, a, a, a girl that's constantly liking the same different pictures, it is, but it's the same girl. Right. So she's loving, 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 loving different pictures. Okay, so uh, I click on the girl's page. I'm like, let me see who she is. Uh -huh. Click on her page. I'm doing a little scrolling. And uh, during the scrolling, I see a picture of a Caucasian um, female standing in a mirror. Smoking. It looks like she has on panties and bras. And, and there's a, a, a bed behind the picture. And there's my man right there on the bed. Oh. Uh, <laughs> and uh, the caption says, sorry if this is your man, uh, with emojis, licking out tongues. I, I, what is going on? I called him. Wait a minute. You, you're clicking through. You go to her page. I, and I, it's a picture she... of her, him on her my bed? Man. My man. How do you explain this? Didn't know somebody else yeah, bed. I was out there with one, like 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 one of my partner's sisters. I was out there with them. That's his partner's sister. Yeah, like okay, they, was out there, they was out there swimming or whatever. Like, mm -hmm. they, there were plenty of people over there. Swim. Everybody was chilling, just chilling, vibing. I was left in the, I was left in the room. Everybody Swim. walked That's out. I was looking too. at my... Actually, she took nope. the picture while I was looking oh, at my hold phone. Out. Uh. Like, I was looking at my phone and she took the picture, like, took a picture in the mirror herself. I was just in the background. You're saying to me everybody was swimming. Yeah. Why you... Is the bed in the pool? I mean, <laughs> they were changing their clothes, like... And so the first thing you do... I didn't you get... swim. Like, I still had my clothes on. I didn't swim at all. I was too fresh with it. Oh, OK. But the first thing you do when you get back from swimming is go to the bedroom. Yeah, yeah. All right. E e even We're though no you didn't have clothes to change. I don't change. see no friend, guys. That was in there. They walked female. out. Panties, bra, <laughs> looking in the mirror and said, that's my man, oh, well. And he on the bed. And I'm like, what? That looks like a sex scene to me. Look like something. What are you doing? I don't see no guy friends. Why are you okay. in the room, closed in with her, sitting on the bed anyway? So, Ms. Pice, what other I warning signs uh, have oh, you, you seen? Oh, you want to hear another one? Okay, so, uh, excuse me, but we were having sexual intercourse. Okay, uh, I connected my phone. I'm the feds. I connect his Instagram, his Facebook, his, uh, whatever he got to my phone. So, any notification he get, I get. So, uh, his phone starts ringing, and I'm like, who's calling? So, I already know. I'm just looking at my phone. It's a female the whole time. It's early morning now, early You're morning. looking at your phone while you're having sex? Because he picked his phone. It kept... The lady kept calling. Whoever it was that would call, constantly calling. So, he was like, I'm like, get the phone. Who is it? So he was like, uh, it ain't nobody, it ain't nobody. So I picked my phone up while he was picking his up and just looked, peeped at it, and I seen it was a female. Cause... Okay, I'm not trying to get personal. What kind of sex are y'all having? <laughs> <laughs> y'all <laughs> some food. If, no, if somebody <laughs> called his phone country, I stopped. I told him to answer his phone. I wanted to know, because I already knew he was cheating anyway, so I first thing when the phone rang, I want to look at it. I want to know who it was. I... Cutler? 
I, I don't get nothing. it. I don't get it. I got nothing. We got three kids in there. I wait. Well, yeah. The phone ain't slowing much down over there. Ah, they probably not. Maybe that's maybe that's some new thing. Oh, okay. Maybe it is. Yeah. Okay. So you're having sex. The phone rings. You. He says there's nobody. You see it's a female. Yeah. What's next? Okay. So I just put the phone down. We finished. Boom. He got up. He's like, I'm finna get ready to go to work. So okay. He finna go to work. I click making the message. He done called the girl after he done left out my door. I said, okay. I called her back. I said, uh, I don't mean no harm. I'm just trying to see what you comes to call for. Uh, we well, ask your man because we just had sex. I said, oh. oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Mr. Wright, did you have sex with this young lady? There ain't no proof that I had sex with her. I didn't ask you. Oh, it ain't oh, no wow. Hold on, Miss Pipes. Hold on. Hold oh, on. Geez, we get ready. Why well, I... I didn't ask you about proof. <laughs> I asked you, did you? No, I ain't had sex with her. All right. But did you have with her? Don't play games with me. No, I was just texting her, like, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I'll be honest, I just was carrying along the conversation. You know, she just was blowing but my But you didn't phone, say but... that at first. Hold on, Miss Pipes. So... As soon as you got out the door, he probably couldn't even get in the car until you were mm, calling her. Mm, mm, right? Had to call her. Why? Who? And really, she was hitting me up because I knew I was trying to... I knew what someone was there, but she was trying to get, really. Like, this all thing that was. Like, it wasn't nothing like that, though. About a month ago, he uh, did a new video along with another family member he has. Um, I'm very cool with the family member he has, so she told me about the girl that was in the video. So, um... She told me the female's name, and one day we were sitting in the house, and it happened. She was calling his phone, and the name popped up. So I'm reaching for the phone, and he reaching for it too. I'm like, "What you doing?" And uh, we wrestling for the phone. I said, "Uh, what are we wrestling for the phone now for? What is this going on? You gotta wrestle with me over a phone because you don't want me to answer it because it's a female call. No, she just did the video. She's just calling and see the video. They have the video drop it. This is that. Okay." So, uh, I went in his phone again. He was asleep. I put his thumb on the, uh, fingerprint, unlocked it. <laughs> and, uh, I added mine on there, too. <laughs> I added mine on there, too. You know, you gonna sleep. You think you slick. I'm just gonna put your thumb on there, too. You know, make sure he sleep good. Tap him real good. He don't wake up. Just put the thumb. Yeah. So, I added mine, too. And, uh, so he was like, how you be getting in my phone? So, I got his phone. I left and went across the street, looked at it. Uh, she had just called him and texted him and said, call me when you wake up. Okay, so I came back to the house. Another day, put my fingerprint on the phone. So, basically, he, the, he, the girl blocked him. He made a text out just so he could call her. Oh. Call her, I'll do anything for you and this. Let's just talk and let's just... All right, Mr. Wright. And this is a female that he's... That's embarrassing and shameful. Mr. Wright, Mr. Wright, Mr. Wright. This woman was in your video. Yeah, yes, sir. Okay. Should that have been the end of the contact with her? You shoot the video, you're done. I mean, that... I I'm not even gonna lie, Your Honor. I was texting her here and there and then, like, giving her a good conversation, because, you know, conversation ruled the nation, you know what I'm Why saying? would you give her a conversation? <laughs> All right, Let me so... tell you what happened. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> but here's what I want to know. After she blocked you, why did you go get an extra app so that you could continue to contact her? <laughs> She had to let her, she had to try and talk to her. Like, I be trying to get my point across with certain people. Like, you know what I'm saying? But... No, I don't know what you're saying. Because <laughs> you in a relationship with this beautiful young lady got three kids with her. All the energy you spending on Miss Video, you could be spending on Miss Woman with you having your kids. <laughs> I don't understand. No, I don't. She got mad because I went they picking going, up my phone. They love each other that much like... already. Going back and forth, blocking each other. Let me okay. tell you what happened. Is it, is he it got anything? Mad because he got mad because I kept bringing her up and go say, well, she talked to me more and she don't nag and I, I get her pregnant. <laughs> you got her pregnant? He said he got her That's pregnant. That's what he told me out his mouth. Did you say you were going to get her pregnant or had gotten her pregnant? I, said, I'm, I will. I'm going to. Like, I just said they had an anger just to make mm -hmm. her mad so she'll leave me alone, quit calling me names and stuff. Oh! Did she leave, did she leave uh, you alone? Uh, yeah, what? she stopped after that. <laughs> yeah, oh, really? that, that. Yeah. Yeah. Because so I, had, I yeah. had to tell her, um, I, like, she she took that bag and I would tell her, like, I ain't got that girl pregnant for real or nothing. You don't believe nothing like that. And she even called the girl, like, the girl, they got, a, got the arguing and everything. <laughs> Okay, you know what? I, wait. No, it worked. It worked. You know why it worked? Because they standing right here in front of us with her accusing him of cheating. So his plan worked. Well, I'm here because say, I want to get Wait, wait, answers. wait. There's ain't no plan worked. Ain't no plan what I was going to say is, because, Miss Pike, mm -hmm. you believe your boyfriend is being unfaithful, mm -hmm. we went to a friend of the court who knows about the entertainment industry to bring him in and give us some expert advice. Okay. I am happy to bring in 
rapper and reality TV star, Young Jock, okay. to share about how to do these things and to do them the right way. Rob, would you escort Young Jock in? Yes, sir. Fine, thank you. How about yourself? We're good. 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 Have, a have a seat. All right. Yeah. Glad to have you here today. Thank you for having me. Uh, have you experienced any instances or circumstances where, you know, involvement with other women have jeopardized a relationship? Only because this is court. I know this is not a trick question. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I would definitely have to say yes. I have been in situations that definitely uh, created a lot of turmoil and havoc in my relationships. So some of the mistakes I made then, I definitely know not to make now. So is it safe to say that in your industry, there's a lot of temptation? And <laughs> <laughs> that's an understatement. <laughs> so if there's all this temptation, what do you have to do as a person out there in that game to protect yourself or protect your relationships? Now, it sounded as if he was trying to protect one situation more than he's trying to protect this situation. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say this, mm -hmm. and I, I'm, I'm gonna be very, you know what I'm saying, blatant and honest. If you're not willing to protect this now, while you have nothing, you can only imagine what's gonna happen when you have, quote, unquote, everything mm -hmm. at your disposal. You're not gonna care about it no more. Because if you don't care about it now, why you don't got nothing? Once you get everything else, it's almost like it could be replaced if you're not willing to fight for it now. So I, I definitely think you should. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. All right, Mr. Color, here's what we got. Ms. Pipes believes that Mr. Wright is sleeping with video girls. A woman told her that she was having sex with Mr. Wright. Mr. Wright said he got another woman pregnant. And because of this and all these other things, she said, it's a rap if this rapper is out there rapping with other folk. She's done. <laughs> And he claims he's not doing anything. Uh, it's just part of the it, being a rapper. He's yep. out there. He was trying to build his fan base, and nothing's going on. Right. So you got two sides to the story. We need to figure out which side is accurate. And so to do that, this court has done a full and complete investigation. At this time, the court will call certified polygraph examiner Kendall Show to determine is he cheating. John, Mr. Schell, how are you today? I'm great, Your Honor. How are you? Doing fine, thank you. Would you state your credentials, please, for the court? I uh, spent 30 years in Washington, D.C., working for the FBI. I ended up uh, as chief of their entire FBI's polygraph program. And uh, so as a result, I've done probably thousands and thousands of polygraph tests. And you conducted a polygraph examination on Mr. Wright. Is that correct? I did, Your Honor. You asked Mr. Wright, since the start of your relationship with Ms. Pipes, have you had sexual intercourse with a woman who was calling you on Facebook? What was his response to that question? He said no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was being truthful, Your Honor. Ms. Pipes, I saw you rubbing your hands together, waiting hey, for that answer. Hey, that was getting a little sweaty. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Are you nervous? Yeah, yeah. Okay. He need to be nervous. Right. You asked Mr. Wright, since the start of your relationship with Ms. Pipes, have you had sexual intercourse with the video girl? What was his response to that question? He said no, Your Honor. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was being truthful. Any girl. <laughs> was it any or video girls? Video. They talking about who you talking about. I ain't doing nothing it's with that. It said video girl, about. that question. Okay. Because he told me this morning that he had sex with someone, and that's oh. why I don't understand how he passed it. That's why I meant did any, was he talking about any female? What did you admit to her? I mean, it's, it's kind of old, like, years ago. I just admitted to her. Like, I had sexual intercourse with someone, like, years ago. 
Well, I don't know if you're but satisfied. We was, but we, but yeah. honestly, we were sick, like split up. I wasn't eating at the house for like almost um, two to three weeks. You remember I was gone for a long period of time. We got in a big argument and she had to be honest. Because you cheated. I, I just want to make this work, Jessica, because we okay. got kids together. You know, I'm providing. I do everything I can for us. We just, you just be bipolar sometimes, and it make me, <laughs> it make me, it make me do certain things. You know. All right, like, All right. Miss Pipes. Mm-hmm. The bottom line is, the polygraph examination showed that he was not being deceptive, mm-hmm. that he was not cheating with the people that you identified, and so now that you have this information. What are you going to do with this relationship? I'm going to use the information he gave me this morning. Uh-huh. And that means... And you're, you're going to use it how? Yeah. You're done. Yeah. You all are dating. You've been dating for seven years now and been engaged for two and a half years. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Honey. All right. Ms. Harrison, why have you brought your fiancé to court today? I brought him to court today because he's canceled the wedding three times and... I'm ready for us to move forward. I'm not cheating on him. I feel like he's accusing me of cheating because he wants to keep procrastinating the process of doing that. And today, I just want to prove to him that I'm not cheating. And when he's ready, we can continue to do this. Okay, so you are here to prove your innocence. Yes, ma'am. And you are giving him his ring back until he accepts that. Yes. Wow. Mr. Jones, why are you here today? I'm here today to really find out if she's really cheating or not. And maybe after that, we can move forward. All right. So you've you've canceled your wedding three times because you believe she's cheating? Yes. And if you find out that she is cheating? That's it. I can't marry nobody that's cheating on me. I mean... So we've got a wedding on the line here. Yes. I mean, not just if we're getting married. Our relationship is on the line. We have three children together. Okay. Wow, so we're talking about a family. family. Okay. You've got a lot of time invested in your relationship. You've got three kids, so I know there were some happy times. Tell us about the happy times. I remember we were at my mom's house. Our son was about to be born. Got the kids together. We had fun. That was the first time he had said that he loved me in front of everyone. He made me feel like this is what he wanted. At that moment, I knew, okay, I'm going to marry him. We're going to do this. We're going to be together for a long time. It's just his whole thing about me being with other people. Mr. Jones, how did you know this is the woman for you? We met each other around 2007. And from that day, I knew, okay, well, this is who I want to be with. We started getting serious. I had cooked her a nice surf and turf dinner. Okay, you know, ain't nothing sexier than a man in the kitchen. You do know that, right? (laughs) I know! (laughs) You know, we sat down, we ate, we talked, we vibed. You know, it was nice. I love her. Do you still get butterflies when you look at her? (laughs) He's... Oh, wait a minute, he's blushing. blushing. (laughs) (laughs) Ah! Look, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. There's no shame in your game. Yeah. (laughs) Butterflies, ain't nothing wrong with butterflies. So, Ms. Harrison, because of the canceled wedding three times, you've brought a lawsuit against Mr. Jones, correct? Yes. All right. Hmm. And what are you claiming in your lawsuit? For the reception, we put a deposit down of $400, and it was non-refundable. At the last minute, he decided to tell me that he no longer wanted to do it because we needed more time. Your Honor, yes, I canceled it, but... That money came out of both of our account, so just as well if it was some of her money that went to it, it was as well as my money that went towards it. And you believe you're entitled to that money back because he's canceled the wedding? I could have used that on our children. And how much did you put down? $400. $400. Do you have a receipt? Yes. Your Honor, as well... Your Honor. she, she, She say that that's just her money. But, no, both of our money going to our account. It's my money if you're going to keep backing out. I can't I, I, keep... I, I, we I can't keep I, shelling I, out I, money I, I, for I, I, deposit. Mr. Mr. Jones. I, I don't... Okay. Mr. Jones, the name on the receipt says Jasmine Harrison. Yes, because she took care of it. She put the deposit down, but it came out of... It was our money. It came out of our account. All right, we're going to talk about the lawsuit in a minute. Right now, tell me why you believe she's cheating now. We went to the grocery store one time. She told me she was going in to get one specific thing come right out. Before that, 
this boy walked up that likes her or that used to like her, or whatever the case was, she tell me, oh, this, you know, that's him right there. So she, they both walk in the store. It was supposed to be an in and out thing. One thing, in and out. Okay, she was in there a little too long. I pulled in the handicapped spot to get in front of the store. I got out the car. What did you see when you went in the store in terms of their interaction? I went in, she's walking, she walked through the aisle he was, back around, and like she's trying to be seen by him. What does that look like? I don't even know what that means. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go to the back of the courtroom and show me what that looks like. <laughs> show me what she did. Okay, these eyes, I'm, I'm, I'm looking here. I go over here and look here. I go closer to him, I look here. Just like I don't know what I'm looking for. Or like I can't find what I'm looking for. All right, Mr. Jones says he felt she was trying to be noticed. What? Yeah. So what else did you see? Hey, did you see him walk? He, he was doing nothing. There was nothing about that that made me I think that. And, and it does. <laughs> exactly what he did is what I was doing. I'm I telling was looking you guys. for that I didn't know where it was. All right, Miss Harrison, would you show me what you were doing? I need Mr. Cutler to see this. I go, I'm looking on the shelf. That's not here. So, okay, so I'm going to the next aisle. I'm looking on the shelf. And so you're going back and forth you between the cases. To, you don't have to go back and look. forth. You can look at this aisle or look what? at this aisle <laughs> and see what you have on that. Okay. That's a man shopping. That ain't a woman shopping. Okay. That's a man shopping. <laughs> I'm just telling you, I know we hear a lot about women's intuition. Men know when women are trying to be noticed. I'm just telling you that. <laughs> How you know that? Just trust me, I know. All right. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to go with that. Okay, L let me just say this. <laughs> Tell me that there is more to this story than the chip aisle, that that ring is sitting over there and you didn't cancel the wedding three times. There's got to be more to this than that. Oh, what, what we got, what we got? Oh, what, what we got, what we got? Look how big these is. <laughs> Look at this. Where you get those? Where, where did My those house. come from? My from house. your house? Yes. You lost weight. You lost <laughs> weight? No. You didn't I'm lose weight. I gain weight. All right. But, um, yeah, what happened? I come home for work one day. I see the shorts in front of the door. I'm like, okay, what these shorts doing here? Like, okay, wait a minute. In what? front of the door, like, which side of the door? <laughs> in which door? In front of I th um, our bedroom door. So was the bedroom door open or closed? It was open. So they just sitting there, like somebody threw them there? Like on the floor, yes. And, they, and those aren't yours? Of, no. Your Honor. <laughs> I, I'm just trying, I'm trying, <laughs> I'm trying. Does anybody else live in the home? Just me, her, and kids. Okay. And right. none of your kids are big enough to wear those shorts? Ron, would you I please get not. those shorts, please? <laughs> sure, yeah. But no, they're those not. Those pants, before we moved in, he had a cousin as a roommate. His cousin is now deceased. Oh. We're cleaning out that house from when two other people used to live with him, and they were roommates, and we're still finding things. What, how, we still have they things of your out. grandmother's, okay. and so she these hasn't size lived there 40. in years. How long were you living in the house? I moved in the house February of 2015. 15. When did you find these shorts? December, November of 16. So, so more than a year later. Where exactly did you when find When did these? we clean the house out from the people that used to live there? Okay, when did you clean the house out from the people that used to live there? Okay. You ready? You can't answer that question because Listen. we're still cleaning the house out yeah. from okay, the people no, that no. used to live there. But, Your Honor, they, if we're cleaning the house out, and why are they out? Like, how do they get out? All right, you believe these shorts are the shorts of a man that she's sleeping with? Yes. You believe that? I believe that. She used to date big guys, and she tell me she's attracted to big guys. Did you tell him you like big boys? That was a long time ago. You like it? <laughs> How long is a long time ago? That was like high school. I was attracted to the linebacker type. All right, so here's my question. Has his suspicion of you caused him to do anything crazy? Yes. Tell um, me what that looked like. We both have iPhones. The iPhone comes with the feature of GPS, which initially was turned on so we can know where each other is. He travels back and forth to work. So, he so takes advantage of the GPS what's and tracks off? where I am. I go to my mother's house one day and he asks me where I am. You know where I am, the GPS is on. So that's not good enough for you. I turn it off. He shows up to my mom's house just to make sure I'm there. While we're there, my, I have teenage brothers and sisters. I'm the oldest. Everyone is at my mom's house. She's cooking. So it's my brothers, their friends, and their friends' friends. So which one of them you sleeping with? 
all under the age of 16. I did not come out and say which one of them you're sleeping with. All right, what did you say? Yeah. I say which one of them here for you. So what did you say to that? All of them. Oh. I, I have to be sarcastic not to get my feelings hurt. This is hurting you. It Tell is. him how that makes you feel. It makes me feel like you don't see any worth in me to feel like I would give myself away to anyone else when I'm trying to give myself to you. Mr. Jones, do you have anything else that causes you to believe that she's cheating? She used to be attracted to women, so... I don't even so, know if she's more attracted to women than to men. That's a negative, because if I because was attracted to women, that is where I would be. <laughs> well, no, listen have you, no, Well, let me, let me ask, have you dated women in the past? Yes, Your Honor. She, okay. she tells me, Your Honor, that she's not more attracted to women than to me, but to other men. So what that tells me, like... That he's the only one in the world that I want to yeah. be with. That's what that says. <laughs> yeah. Well, I saw some Facebook messages from a guy that she was... She, she said she didn't date him. But they were just messing around or they just talking. Then all of a sudden, this guy gets a job at my job and I know I know him from somewhere. I'm like, I can't put my finger on it. She sees him. She tells me that's the guy. So all of a sudden, she say, we only had sex one time. Maybe we chilled more than once. No. Yes, this one guy, I did meet him. We only had relations once. And we hung out a few times. I don't feel you can True. question what I've done when we weren't together. I don't question what you have done when we weren't together. OK, okay. so are you worried that she's still messing with him? Not particularly him. OK. Well, well, who? I don't know who. All right, right now I want to talk about the love suit. And let me make sure I got everything. Uh, you say that she's received Facebook messages from a guy. You go to the grocery store and she's walking around like she wants to be seen by this ex-boyfriend. Uh, you find cargo shorts on the floor outside the bedroom in your home and the cargo shorts don't fit you. And because of all of this, you think she's cheating? Yes. And, Ms. Harrison, you say you're not cheating? No. You want to be his wife? Yes, badly. Like, seriously. Like, that's all I've been talking about since we first met. All right. To get to the bottom of this, the court has engaged the services of a licensed private investigator. Ron, would you please escort Mr. Eccles into the courtroom? Yes, Your Honor. You are a licensed private investigator. What is the strangest place you've ever caught someone cheating? Oh, wow. The strangest place that I've caught someone cheating, I would say, would be a park. They were engaged in um, intercourse outside in the park. Yes. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Well, the question is, what did you do to investigate today's case? Well, today's case, what I did, I went undercover. Ah. And I posed as a person who was cheating, coming to court. And I was actually in a room with Ms. Harrison. Do you recognize this man? I do. Okay. <laughs> so, so you went undercover. She didn't know who you were. She did not know who I was. So how does going undercover help you to get to the bottom of what you're trying to get to the bottom of? Well, going undercover, Your Honor, for me, um, it helps me to engage in conversation with oh. the individual. Okay. Um, look at body language. See how they change their tone when they're talking to me read their behavior, but also I befriend them. I let them think that I'm there for the same reason that they're there for. And they kind of so, let their guard so, down. So they kind of let their guard down to give me an opportunity to talk. So you try to catch them in a lie or to admit things? I try to catch them in a lie and to admit the purpose if, if she was cheating or not. Ah. So what did you discover in this particular case? Well, Your Honor, I, I do have a video that I brought as evidence. All right. Let's look at that. If you want to take it there, then probably I have cheated. But I was honest about it, you know, about it. It was with an ex of mine. She called, we were friends. And I told her, I was like, you know what, maybe if I wasn't with him, we probably would try to be in a relationship again. So you did cheat once? Oh, yeah. I guess you can, yeah. Because it was a mental thing and I did take it there, mentally. 
What did she do mentally? Well, um, Ms. Harrison um, has levels of cheating. If you mentally uh, engaged and that you want to be with somebody, then she believes that it's cheating. And, and what she said there was there was a mental um, situation with her and another female. Okay. However, Your Honors, she did say that her fiancé or her boyfriend was aware of it. Okay. So you're saying that it was never any physical contact no. with this lady. The only thing was there was an emotional bond. Yes. So, Mr. Eccles. Yes, Your Honor. Were you able to find out if this relationship went any further than an emotional or mental connection? Based on my conversation with Ms. Harrison, um, I found her to be very forthright. And in my professional opinion, in doing these type of cases and undercover, she is not cheating with anybody. I believe the investigator, and we can move past. I mean, because I love her, and if she's really not cheating, then we can really get married. I like this part. <laughs> My baby. Ah. Uh... <laughs> now, Miss Harrison. I don't want you to take it off no more. Oh. <laughs> Miss Harrison, in light of him telling you, don't take that ring off no more. <laughs> do you want to continue with your lawsuit, or you want us to dismiss it? No. You want us to dismiss it? Yes. Your lawsuit is dismissed. <laughs> 